Hey guys. I'm Jerry. I'm Sierra. We're ladies. And we tangent. Yow. <laughs> Yow. That's one of my favorite like things that have become a bit. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> it's really fun. This is very hot. I do it around people who don't listen so they don't get my bit and like the whole week my entire last week was just me doing bits of shit that i'm like yeah, i know you guys don't know what the fuck i'm talking about so <laughs> what's fun for me that's the other hard thing of like um people we don't want people close to us to listen yeah but because also- it's uncomfortable <laughs> yes. it's like having them read our diary our very yes. very public diary yeah but we only talk to each other. Yeah. <laughs> so if we're not together, none of our bits like, work. They're just weird shit. Fucking understand what I'm talking. About. Yeah. Yeah. It's very true. Anyway. What's, What's up, up, everyone? Hello. Happy birthday, my dad. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jerry's birthday. It's everybody. my birthday today. Not today when you're listening. Today when we're recording. So. Yes, which is. Two Sunday day, two days before so, you hear this <laughs> yeah <laughs> so you'll hear it on Tuesday my birthday was two days ago yeah happy so birthday I'll, I'll, and happy Father's Day to any of daddies <gasps> out there oh my god daddies and a, a big fuck you to anyone who doesn't has a, a strange relationship with their dad and not fuck you as in you as in that's a fuck you on, on your behalf <laughs> From us to your estranged (laughs) paternal figure. Fuck your father. (laughs) And you know we will. (laughs) You know we will. Happy birthday. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Um, Speaking of fathers. Okay. I forgot that I called brother Hank daddy. (laughs) Now I feel embarrassed that I did Why? I don't know. Somebody was like, no, (laughs) Sierra. Daddy Hank. I was like, I'm sorry. Was I not supposed to do that? I don't know. Sounded right at the time. Yeah, it feel it felt like a respectful term of endearment back to us. He said, did. He said something about he he uh, love you gals or something like that. What? Hold on. On what? You must have said something back to, about oh. the nine lives. <laughs> Yes. That was such a clever joke. Such a clever joke. I said it was underappreciated. Yes, and so he responded, "Gosh, I love you gals." Oh. Can you even? <laughs> All right, brother Hank. We just love you. We love you so much. I can't. Even now tell I want to make that a TikTok and be like, "Hey, hey. how you feel?" <laughs> um. Oh my God, I just got so shy. <laughs> so shy. I know. I know. Whoa. It feels like I want you to notice me, but like you notice me. I know. Isn't parasocial relationships are so insane totally because i'm talking to someone that i'm like i admire so much and literally feel like i learned so much from from early early days before he we were on his radar at all and now he notices us back and i'm like i'm like embarrassed i'm like don't look at me (laughs) yeah but in a fun way we we have felt like lurkers in the entertainment space Mm -hmm. and so to be noticed by people then when people start noticing us we're like ah Oh my God, we've said so much. And <laughs> You've think, heard so much. And I think for him, like, it, it feels even more like being noticed. Like, when Elise Myers shared my story one time because I followed her curly hair routine, like, that was really exciting. But she wasn't noticing us for our content. Right, 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 right. It was like, oh, you mentioned me, so I'm mentioning yeah. you kind of a thing. And this is like straight up. Oh my God. Yeah. The saddest thing ever happened to elise myers now okay that's a very that's a very huge statement obviously it's not the saddest thing <laughs> like, like the happened? holocaust and slavery exists yeah. <laughs> but um i didn't mean to laugh at both of those I'm so sorry <laughs> no, that, felt no, no. Inappro- that felt inappropriate no the comparison of those two yeah. things being the saddest which are, are greatly sad things you yes. guys are shaking your head just like shut up move on okay anyway <laughs> So Elise was doing a live and she was making bracelets for the Taylor Swift concert. Yeah. And someone, she started talking about the concert itself and she's like, she has this strut during this one song and she was acting it out. And she read a comment that someone said, she's like acting like she's a Swifty. And so she read that comment and she's like, okay, never mind. Um, I'm just gonna, (gasps) we're gonna do something else. I'm not, I'm done doing that now. And like, oh, it was devastating to watch now i did watch a tiktok from her where she was talking about it she's like this is for swifties um how do i how do when do i get to 
be one? How do I become one? Yeah, like, like, why are you gatekeeping Taylor Swift? Yeah, Stop like, doing how that. does, uh, is there a form I need to fill out? Like, I, I was unaware. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't uh-huh. just, like, enjoy music yeah. from an artist that I like. I know. And uh, it made me so sad. I'll be honest. I kind of hate, I hate online fandoms like that sometimes because it feels it feels like middle school to me it feels like i'm in a club that you're not allowed to be a part Mm -hmm. of and also i'm not going to tell you how to get in it but i am going to make fun of you for trying thank you bye and like stop doing that don't do that i understand when people feel like something is so special they don't want to lose that Mm -hmm. specialness that special feeling that they have from it but you are when you do stuff like that you're preventing other people from feeling that special feeling too yeah. or enjoying it with you yeah more it, people having what you have does not take away from what you have exactly it doesn't cheapen it yeah it only anyway. makes it better honey Susan. i did have a dream about elise myers and she was mean to us again <laughs> again it might have been because you told me it but she was like making fun of us <laughs> Which she would never. She wouldn't. Ever. I know that. But that's like, why I reached, feel bad. I feel yeah. like if she ever heard that we're having bad dreams about her, she She's would like, just I'm be like, so sorry, devastated by it. Yeah. But in my dream, um, we reached out to her to like collab with us, mm-hmm. and she was like, absolutely not. Which no, I have why? done several times. <laughs> she was like, I don't even. You're not on my radar at all. I don't know who you are. Yeah. I don't know why you would think that I would do that. And I was like, what is happening? And why? And yeah. then when I woke up, I still had that thought. I was like, I can't believe, mm-hmm. like, secondhand embarrassment. Like, I couldn't believe mm-hmm. we actually did that. And then I had to tell myself, like, no, we didn't. There that are, didn't actually happen. There are many people who I have slid into the DMs and been like, I think you're amazing. And I think that you are someone who, um, would be great with us. I think we would be a great duo. Team. I think the uh, an episode with you would be awesome. And I said, and if not, like I'll, that's totally fine. That's great. Uh, keep normalizing. This is what I always say. Keep normalizing the human experience. Uh, so far, beautiful. no one no, has responded <laughs> to us. No, no one's responded to us, and You're that's right. fine. That's fine. That's, it's so that's funny a lot when of people, that's a lot of messages. But I know, but it is funny when people kind of yell at us. They're like, "You guys need to collab with these people." I'm like, "You're preaching to the choir. <laughs> yeah. like, we're, we're not the reason the collab isn't happening." Right. I'll tell you that right now. And and people are so so busy. Like, no, it's not their fault because I know and that they, people they, have reached out to us to, they don't too. Owe us that anything. like it's not yeah. doable yeah. all the time. Yeah, but yeah, it's it's crazy that we almost. <laughs> I don't want to say that we feel this level of entitlement, but I kind of do feel like, you know what? Why not shoot our shot? You should at least shoot your shot for yeah. sure. Why yeah. not? What's the worst that could happen? We get ignored. Welcome to my life. <laughs> oh, it's you. I'm so fucking used to it. <laughs> been there. <laughs> anyway. So how have you been? We haven't seen each other in a week, by the way. Mm-hmm. I was on vacation and it was a trip. We tried very hard. I didn't know how her trip was going, so I didn't know if I was being a bother or if I was like, (laughs) don't talk to her about work stuff. She's on vacation. But like, also, I I do want your opinion on things. (laughs) Mm -hmm. And then I got really lonely because I did come into the office to work. I taped her face to the chair (laughs) just so I could could see it out of my periphery. I should put that picture up somewhere because that was very funny. (laughs) I sent it to her. I was like, miss you. Hope you're having a good time. (laughs) It was sad. I found myself staying in a lot and wanting to like answer work emails. And I'm like, you're on a vacation right now. Quit. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't. I couldn't stop. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was, it was. um, Because the moment show launched when you were there. I know. And I wanted to be a part of that. I wanted to post about it. But you tagged me and made me a collaborator. So I was like, cool. Okay. It's at least on my page. (laughs) So it's fine. But um, yeah, it was an interesting trip. We'll say that. I do want to say. That traveling with young children is not for the weak, first mm, of all. Mm-mm. But also, my kids did so good. I was so proud of them because I have airport and, and airplane anxiety anyways. So I knew I was going to be like, <gasps> and so with them, with yeah. me, I was like, <sighs> um, but they did really well. Noah especially. God, I love that kid so much. He is so good at just like. He's been on a plane a few times, yeah. right? And he's so good. He, he was like. I have a picture of him. His legs are crossed. He's got his little headphones on. <laughs> he's eating gummy bears. And he's like wa- reading a book on his tablet. He was so cute. The whole time I'm like, you are just like, mm-hmm. there was a couple of times on the way you back. You're a world traveler. Oh my God. He, it like doesn't phase him at all. And I love that he's had 
the flying experience early enough yes. that he doesn't have that flight anxiety. Cause yeah, because you waited until you were 29. Oh, yeah. And so, Before like... My, uh, you, well, a little bit um, younger. I went to Mexico when I was, what, 28? Maybe... Tw- oh, but was I 29? I don't know. 28, 29. But, yeah, that was, yeah. like, my first flight. And yeah. it was horrifying mm-hmm. and scared the shit out of me. And so yeah. uh, that kind of... Um, well, made- you had 29, 28, 29 years to like build up anticipation of also, fears. It, <laughs> it never feels like what you think it's going to feel like. If you no. haven't ever flown before and you're like, okay, I could do this. You can't Pro- really replicate it's it. probably like driving in a car. No, it's absolutely well, not. Well, also, if I'm going to think about this more, it makes me wonder... Kids already don't have any control when they're in vehicles. Yes. So they are already used to kind of kind of releasing that control. Yes. And so maybe it's It's easier. just another yeah. ride for them. Because I told Corey, I said, maybe it's just... Uh, well, they didn't have to watch 9-11 in elementary school. Uh, it happened live real time. Honestly. Like, <laughs> that's a, let's, me, let's talk about that. I had to watch that and then get on a plane? Uh-huh. Wrong. <laughs> like, I can't. Mm-hmm. But um, what... <laughs> I have a tangent about that. Oh, Christ. Okay, Okay. go ahead. (laughs) So I really like watching Jubilee videos. What the fuck is that? You remember your cousin Stella was on one. (gasps) Yeah. Well, I think she was on a cut video. Yeah. Okay. So I was watching this video where this guy basically dates a bunch of dads to date one of their daughters. Okay. So he's... Standing there in this suit. It's giving MTV, but yeah, mm-hmm. got it. And then there's five dads, five or six dads lined up. Okay. And they just ask each other questions. The guy who's interviewing the dads, his name is Nut. <laughs> okay. Sure. He was on another video where he was trying to see who had the best Riz. You familiar with Riz? Oh, I fucking Riz out all the time. <laughs> is that a phrase? Yeah. Riz I love a good my Twizzler. Riz. <laughs> you know? Mm. So... He's talking with them. Riz me, baby, one more time. <laughs> Sorry. If I didn't say it, it Wizard of Oz. <laughs> I was just going to stay inside my mind. So, okay. One of the dads was uh, law enforcement. Okay. <gasps> okay. And so he said, I have to ask, have you ever, have you ever been in trouble, Nut? And Nut was like, I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. One time in middle school. Keep in mind, I was a seventh grader. Mm. We were learning about 9-11. It mm-hmm. was the anniversary of it. And they were trying to show a video and it wasn't working. And I said, maybe a plane flew into the Wi-Fi tower. <laughs> oh, no. And he's like, and I got, I got detention for that. So. <gasps> like, no one laughed. No. no one reacted. They all just kind of like stared at each other like, mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. well, speaking of that, <laughs> my son, we were trying to tell him like, because if you don't know Noah, he does have ADHD, but he's also potentially others. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, he's very like, sometimes he'll th- say things. And if you don't know who he is as a person, it's... <laughs> It comes off wrong, okay? So I had to, like, kind of coach him, like, hey, you're going to go through TSA. Um, Don't talk to him. (laughs) Just You're going to want to. I know who you are as a person. (laughs) Just don't. like because Keep it moving. Yes. Keep it moving. And he was like, I was like, there's certain things that you you can't say when you're in an airport, and you you shouldn't say. Oh, my God. Why would you tell him that? Because now he's going to want to say him even more. No, here's the thing. Then he wanted, he goes, (laughs) what if I go up to them and I say, hey, I don't have a bomb? (laughs) <laughs> said, Noah. He goes, I don't have one. <laughs> don't fucking say that. Please don't say that. And then I then I got that thought where I was like, why did I say anything? Because yeah. now it's like in his mind that he's like, I have to say it. I have to say it. I have to <laughs> well, I don't want them to think I have one. So if I I make it very clear that I that don't. I don't. <laughs> We'll be I'm fine. Like, please don't say that. Please. I'm not trying. No, you're going to get detained. Someone's going to look at my <laughs> asshole again. Please. <laughs> I was like, they're going to have to search us hard. <laughs> so I don't want that to happen. I'm but- not wearing the right underwear for that. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm wearing, I'm wearing boxer briefs. We talked about it last episode. <laughs> but yeah, he was amazing to travel with. And so uh, everything went, to be fair, if you've never traveled with young kids, um, like stroller, lap children, 
they are really fucking awesome. Like lap children is that what you said? She was a lap child. I I initially heard lab children <laughs> like in a science <laughs> lab. Well, there was two options. It was either like children that like were made in petri dishes, yep. or Labrador retriever <laughs> children. <laughs> These are my <laughs> golden labs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. No, um, chocolate labs. <laughs> this is my chocolate lap baby. <laughs> they were the the they were really cool. Like TSA was like, you guys can come over here away from people. We'll let you go through with the stroller. Like everybody oh, was so cool. Like, we could take the stroller right up to the gate, and then they were like, "Don't worry, we'll fold this up for you and keep it here." And then they gave it back to us, like. And the flight attendants were super cool. So I was mm-hmm. like, maybe this won't be too terrible. Wrong. <laughs> because on the way there, my baby was phenomenal. But she was a baby. Okay. Right, right. So like she was very excited when the plane took off. And she was squealing happily mm-hmm. and like but screaming. <laughs> yeah. But like she was going, <laughs> <laughs> it was so cute. And she was laughing like maniacally. <laughs> but, like, She's got a really, deep voice. So it just she sounds does. <laughs> maniacal. And her uncle, Corey's brother was traveling with us. So he was sitting in the row right in front of us, mm-hmm. right in front of Corey. So she was grabbing onto the seat and like peering over. But that's her yeah. uncle. And like there was a he lady. Looks just like her dad. It, truly. <laughs> there was a lady that was sitting on the aisle seat in that row. Okay. Karen ass. I swear <laughs> to fucking God, dude. So I heard her at once. I heard her like, like that something. Uh-huh. And then I was like, surely that can't be for us. Like this baby's not crying. She's yeah. not sure. She squealed during takeoff, but like, again, it's exciting and yeah. she's, and she's a baby. Right. But other than that, we were singing songs to her to try. We were singing the ABCs with her, trying to keep her quiet Aww. and like, it, you know. Maybe that lady doesn't like the ABCs. Well, may I guess fucking not. Because <laughs> at one point, the flight attendant comes walking by to get our orders. And I ordered a beer, of course, because <laughs> I have flight anxiety and I needed yeah. medicine. <laughs> and um, it was medicinal beer. And Corey had the baby, so it's, like, sh- it's fine. I can. You're not driving. I'm not driving. <laughs> And I wasn't even driving when the plane landed. He was. <laughs> so anyways, she goes, ah, this is ridiculous. I hear the lady say. And then the flight attendant comes by again. And she goes, can I move, please? And looked back at us like when she said it. And I was like, oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. She's not even doing How anything. How old would you say this person was? 60s. Uh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But she had gray hair, like white gray hair mm-hmm. that she dyed like a blue purple color. So mm. I was like. How dare you? Misleading. How dare you have colored hair and <laughs> act like a fucking bitch? I thought, I honestly really thought you were going to be cooler than this. Yeah. So. I was she, misled by your hair. She moves right in front. Your of, hair looks like it's asking for my baby I to know, be crazy. No, And she wasn't even being crazy. She was just being a baby. Yeah. She wasn't crying. She did take off and landing without her ears popping and her crying at all. Yeah. She did great. She just was a, a louder than normal yeah which like get fucking headphones what time was your flight at 6 p.m oh okay so it's not like so a like, red eye fu- or super early no, in the morning it's fucking 6 p.m yeah You're n- nobody was trying to sleep right. and like everyone else who had shit it's to not do. a long flight also i wanted to be like what did we interrupt you playing fucking scrabble on your ipad because i leaned over and i saw what the fuck you were doing <laughs> you're playing a goddamn game like get over it okay i don't want to be here either <laughs> we're all in situations so we don't want to be doing in. our best it's a two-hour fucking flight yeah. get over it anyways she does move I go to the bathroom several times. By the way, she moves right in front of Brady, who is Corey's brother. So like another one. So then Cor- or Brady goes, hand me the baby. <laughs> Seriously? We, we didn't. Though. <laughs> I wanted to so bad. It was like, hand me the baby. I'm going to just put it right in the- <laughs> That would have been so what fucking it? funny. Because like, why? It what? gives that train car <laughs> yes. passive aggressive yes. revenge. Yeah. Just being, yeah, passive aggressive. Because whatever mm-hmm. at that way she, or at that point she was watching her miss rachel videos because yeah. we love we've miss rachel if you're listening i love you so much <laughs> um and i but we didn't i had to screen record some so we had to watch like the same 15 minutes over and over again so like yeah anyways she she did fine this lady was a bitch every time i went to the bathroom <laughs> because i had a beer um 
I stared at this lady <laughs> when I came back because I was like, say something. Cause Look like, at me. Look at me into my eyes. When when she said, like, this is ridiculous. Can I move? I go, you can buy some headphones. I know that. <laughs> you said that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. We were both on one. I know. I was really, I was really annoyed because again, I already have anxiety about this Mm -hmm. and I'm trying to keep my baby as quiet as possible. And I think that she's doing phenomenal. Right. And you acting like she's being the most like, ugh, I have to fly with kids. Fuck you. Yeah. Honestly, if you're like that at all on planes, fuck you. (laughs) Nobody who's flying with kids wants to be flying with their kids. I'll tell you that right now. Right. It is worse for them than it is for you. I promise. Because when you get off the plane, you don't have to have the baby around you anymore. No, you can run away from it. (laughs) I couldn't do that. I can't do that. She was with me all fucking week. so I love her so much. if yeah, i do love her so much um if you fly regularly and you're like oh i can't stand having kids buy headphones please for the love yeah. of fucking god buy a pair of headphones yeah take it's a fine. benadryl yeah sleep <laughs> sleep forever <laughs> <Just> <laughs> well i think it's hysterical that sierra was uh, petty to this person and i was petty Ooh, to a same guy day, kind of well no this was the you were day. when did you fly down Saturday. Oh, no, this was on Wednesday. Oh, shit. Okay, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Time was really confusing while I was yeah. there. So I get lunch with my dad every single week, mm-hmm. and we went to get sushi. Oh, delicious. We've never gotten sushi before. My no. dad and I, like, frequent the same three places. Yeah. The same three places you that and I frequent. frequent. <laughs> and so he calls and he's like hey you want to switch it up you want to do this this and i was like hey would you want to get sushi do you like sushi mm. come let's go get sushi and i made him try edamame and he really liked it yeah. we were having just a, a wonderful wonderful time yeah i had gotten um hi <laughs> <laughs> sent me like, a really fun message the, the day night before. before like the day before yep and um i had written a bunch of stuff in my notes app uh that I read aloud to him <laughs> over sushi. <laughs> he really enjoyed it. Uh, and it, it, it prompted a lot of conversation. Now, yeah. towards the end of sushi, this man comes in with three kids. Mm-hmm. And he's got one under his arm and he's like giving him a noogie, whatever. Yeah. It, everything seems fine. Whatever. They sit, with them. <laughs> they sit right behind us. Okay. Right. And that restaurant, by the way, is super fucking quiet. So, like, you can hear conversations that the people around you are having. And I have like ADHD. And I have a problem where I hear every single conversation around me all the time. And and I can't turn it off. zone in on that. And I can't get away from it. So they're behind me. And don't don't you have like, I know I do, where you have a really good ability to like act like you're still in the conversation. I can say the pieces and act like I'm in it. But like, I am fully listening to this one behind me. At this point in time, we were kind of like, waiting for our check and so we were kind of like winding down um but my dad saw my face change Mm -hmm. and he was like is everything okay and i go oh my god this man is being foul to these kids Mm -hmm. so the boys were none of them were older than 10 they were anywhere between seven and 10 okay and this man is saying things to them like uh speak up you sound like a baby um he was saying by the way as someone who's worked as a server yes it is important to like teach your children to order for themselves there's a way to do it to not yeah. make them feel like a piece of shit or yes. make them more you're giving that child when you talk to them like that you are giving them that insecurity to order well into adulthood and yep. then they're gonna be weird to servers so like don't fucking do that yeah. what are you doing so then he was saying um Stop whining like that. You sound like a little girl. No one wants to listen to a whiny little girl. Um, He was saying that he was going to smack the attitude out of them. And like, they did not have attitude. Like, I I obviously couldn't see their faces, but I can't imagine that they were doing anything with their faces. To warrant that. Yeah, because he was already just annoyed of them doing nothing. Well, those are people, there are people that exist that don't want to be surrounded by little kids who then have kids for some fucking reason and then are just annoyed at the presence of children around them. And I cannot fucking stand that. Well, part of me felt like everything they were going to do was going to be wrong to him. Like there was no, there was nothing they could do. I knew adults like that growing up where it was literally like, 
me existing as a child pissed them off. It was almost like I just want to tell you what to do. Yes. I just want to control every movement. I want to have a comment on everything that you say and do. And I'm like, mad at I something just, else in my life and you're the one thing I can have power over. I just it's a power trip. want to beat you into submission yeah. to being nothing. Yeah. And so I'm sitting there and I'm like, I, I can't handle because this. Because you know people like that have no fucking power or anything anywhere else in their life. They're pathetic, weak, little humans. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. so they have to take out whatever mm-hmm. they want on... On people who are the most defenseless, which mm. is little kids. Now, here I am. I'm sitting closest to them. Mm-hmm. My dad's across. He hears them. Mm-hmm. And he goes, Jerry, I've never heard a man speak that way mm. in my life. And I said, Dad, if he's doing this in public, imagine what uh-huh. he says in private. Uh-huh. He is not afraid to be heard right now. Yep. And that's a fucking problem. That's a big red flag. And all I kept thinking of is all of the people who had said really ugly, gross, nasty things about me that that were the seeds that were planted that grew like weeds in my mind garden. So when I got older, I kept thinking no one wants to listen to a whiny little girl. Mm-hmm. No one wants to your speak be up. Be quiet. Be submissive. Yes. Be seen, not heard. Mm -hmm. I'm going to smack the attitude out of you. So like Mm -hmm. all of this stuff was happening. Then I heard him say something like, uh, you need to respect the person who's paying for your meal. And like, so I had $40 cash and I said, dad, how much was our meal? And he was like, I don't know, somewhere around $40. I said, all right, give me $20 because Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to need more than 40. Mm -hmm. And so I took $60 and I turned around and I put it on the table and I said, I'd like to pay for your meal today to show you what kindness looks like so that maybe you can show some to them. Mm. And the little boy goes, thank you. Uh. And the guy goes, you can take your money back. I'm training them. But at that point in time, like they're fucking I dogs. rolled my eyes at him and just walked out. I know. Like I they're know. animals. I'm training, training them, them to do what? be submissive to you that's it that's what you're you're not training them to be uh, quote training but you're not teaching them to be humans in the world you are training them to be fearful and submissive or to you or pieces of shit to other people exactly. in the future because who do you that, think they're gonna take that anger and aggression and whatever they're you feeling need to have towards you out on respect for the person paying for your meal so the partner that any of those boys have someday in the future yep Hey, speak up. Shut up. Don't have an attitude. You're not listening to me, are you? You need to respect me because I'm the one paying for this. No piece of trash. Nope. So I I was like on vibrate the rest of the day. I was so fucking shaky. It was it was it felt like standing up to my own abuser in that moment. And I all I kept thinking was, I hope that those boys remember that. Yep. Whenever they have these thoughts of like, am I a bad kid? Am I a chicken? Am I weak? Am I this? I hope they remember that someone else witnessed this from outside of their bubble and was like, that's fucked up. And I I hope you know as well, too, that that there will probably be a moment where they're going to question. Because when you're a Mm -hmm. little kid, you don't question the way you're raised. Mm -hmm. You just assume that the people who are are taking care of you, raising you are doing the best the best that they can do and or the they're best doing it in the, for you. the right way yeah you don't unquote. know any you don't know any better mm-hmm. so why would you think any differently so then when you get older and you start to have these like um actually is this right it doesn't because i know for me it didn't feel right and Mm-mm. i knew that i was like this doesn't feel like this is what it should be right but you have these people, you're like, well, they've been a human longer than I've been a human. So I'm assuming that they know how and to everyone, do this better than no me. No one else is standing. No one else who's also an adult who you think should know best is telling them they're doing wrong. Yes. So that was such a huge moment because I hope that they remember that and think like when they have that moment where they um, reflect and think maybe this isn't right, that they're mm-hmm. like, actually, I don't think it is because remember how that, that lady at the restaurant reacted yeah. to it. Mm-hmm. And I know that. He could. He probably gave my money away, or he probably tore oh. it up, or he probably tossed it. Whatever, gave it to someone else. But sixty dollars is nowhere near what I actually was trying to pay for, which no, yeah. was them knowing that that was wrong. Mm-hmm. So I don't give a fuck what happened to that sixty dollars. Yeah, all I cared about was him knowing 
I hear you. Yep. And I see you. And you should be fucking embarrassed. Yes. You, you should, be, should ashamed. be ashamed of this. Yes. And I, and I hope that you are. Right. Good for you. Uncle. I'm glad you did that. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pivot. Oh my God. Sorry, I just didn't know if that toilet was going to be really loud. <laughs> what the hell? Sorry, go ahead. That was crazy. Um, okay, so I'm going to pivot a bit. Yeah, pivot. Well, one, I want to... You're looking at my shirt, and I want to say, hello, everybody. <laughs> Look at this freaking cool shirt. Do you know where you can get it at? If you come to our Moment Show. Mm-hmm. Moment.co Jul- slash moment. ladies in tangent. That's it. July 11th, we're having a show, virtual live show. So mm-hmm. everybody who was like, oh, I can't make it to your live shows in Buffalo and Pittsburgh, which, by the way, if you want to, those are still on sale as well. I don't know. know about Pittsburgh. I don't know about Pittsburgh. Out. Uh, but Buffalo is. Buffalo's got a few left, yeah. like 40, I think. We're, we're very, yeah, close, we're close to selling out there. So um, if you want, you can go to those ones. If you can't make it to those ones, that's okay. We are having a virtual live show July 11th. So this is one of the merch pieces. There will also be exclusive merch pieces at the live shows, maybe. Should yes. I, say that? Okay, I, was like, I don't know about yes. the At the Pittsburgh and Buffalo ones. Here's we're going to have exclusive merch there as well. My mind gets a go in sometimes, mm-hmm. and I have a lot of times stifled those thoughts and been like, you know what, Jerry, just calm down. Mm-hmm. There's a way to do things. There's no need to reinvent the wheel. And then I say to myself, yeah, but, but how many different kinds of wheels are there? And isn't it so more many. fun? Isn't it more fun that way? So... Uh, we were talking about merch and whether or not we were going to be able to bring it to the live show and, mm-hmm. and what pieces we were going to bring and what sizes we were going to have available and how much of each and whatever. And it was really, really complicated. So I try to find ways to uncomplicate those things. Yeah. And so I came up with the idea of doing one singular design on everything. Yep. And it says... I came to the Ladies and Tangents live show and this was the only merch that they had or something like (laughs) that. And all they had was this merch. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And it's got Lucy's mouth on it. Yep. Um, So it's all, uh, there's a poster, there's a sticker, there's a t-shirt, there's a sweatshirt, there's a hat. So you can only get those at at the the live live shows. shows. The live, live in person shows. So if you get that, you'll be part of a little club. And we won't let anybody else in. We'll bully you if you do. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, but yeah, so that's that for the moment show. Yeah. Um, anything else that we have coming up? Okay. I don't well, know. If we do, we'll, t- we'll let you know. Dude, I don't we'll know. I can tell you about it. You guys know. <laughs> oh, you could go to patreon.com slash ladies and tangents. I know that one. Maybe they know something that we, we don't. Yep. We're going to have another episode coming out soon, correct? Not this Friday, but next Friday, right? This Friday? Mm -hmm. This Friday. I lied to you. 23rd (laughs) is the second half of the pride. Yeah. So stuff. If you are a fuckable bunny or goose pimp, you will get that. Sure thing. Sure thing, Buster. And it's going to be more if you enjoyed last week's episode. It's going to be more of those. Yes. Okay. um, Now I want to tell you about what happened on my vacation. Tell It was a little bit horrendous. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going (laughs) to lie to you. I had I had a. This is going to be difficult for me to talk about because I don't want to talk shit about the trip because I know I was so lucky and privileged and like, I'm so thankful I got to go. But this was a vacation unlike any I'd ever had in my fucking (laughs) life. Okay. Not only number one was the vacation a week after we got possession of our new house. We have the new house, everybody, but we are not, I know, but we're not fully moved in because it was such a weird time where we're like, Half of our furniture still has to get delivered because we like bought a new dining table and a new bed. And so we're like half living in two houses, first yep. of all, um, but also no house. <laughs> <It's very laughs> yeah, also I nowhere. Told, I told Corey, I was like, this is kind of fun though. I have two houses right now. And like seven years ago, I had no house. <laughs> so like, <laughs> look at me now. <laughs> but also both of them are like, it's in disarray. And no groceries or anything. Yeah. We've just been eating out all the time. Eh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but like, yeah, it's just chaotic because then also we had to plan to go on this vacation. So mm-hmm. it was just already kind of at a weird time in our lives. Um, and then, you know, flying with two kids. But that wasn't terrible. We got there. Fine. Everything yep. was good. The next day uh, after we get there was OK, but like 
the kids were a little bit cranky um, and we were waiting on Corey's whole family was coming. So like we were waiting on them. They were driving down yeah. most of them besides his brother who flew with us. So we just kind of like chilled. I think we went to the pool for a little bit and then everybody else got there. Um, I don't even think we went out to dinner. I think it, that day we door dashed dinner because we were so tired from traveling yeah. the day before. And so that night it's all good. We're going to sleep. Um, we had a room that had two like full size beds. So I slept in a bed with Sawyer and Noah was going to sleep with Corey or he liked to sleep with me and Sawyer at one point, but mm -hmm. he moved eventually. So there we are. It's by the way, I don't want to talk shit about Corey either because <laughs> he was on a trip. This was one of the first vacations he's had where all of his brothers were there and right. his friend. And so that first night that they were all there, he's like, do you care if I go out to a bar with them all? And I'm right. like, no, go for it. Like, I'm, I'm right. I'm happy that you get to have this moment with them. So he gets back, though, and he is like when he's super tired, one from traveling and then also had been drinking, he passed out and he was like dead to the world. Yes. OK. Dead to the world. <laughs> this man is drunk. Yes. He wasn't even that drunk. He's and like, also I only drank from the travel. <laughs> yeah. He goes, I've only drank like three beers. It was I've just only like had three beers. <laughs> yes. Guess what happened to my Mike? snoring? You will hear. And I didn't. And you know why I didn't? Why? My ear was full. Oh. The things. No. <laughs> Trigger warning, everyone. Um, we're going to talk about vomit. <laughs> and she puked right in my <laughs> ear. <laughs> my sweet, sweet baby angel, who, by the way, has never had an adult throw up, such, or like a big kid throw up, mm. in the middle of the night, rolls over onto me. I'm laying this way away from her. She rolls over onto me, hooks her arm around me, and I'm like, oh, my sweet baby, and just vomits. All over the side of my face, yeah. into my ear, <laughs> in my hair. Mm -hmm. It was horrendous. We just horrendous. talked about how Sawyer has not had a big girl puke. I just fucking was like bragging to everybody you about, like, oh, how great is this? And it came out of nowhere. She wasn't like whining. I didn't know. Anyways, I get up out of the bed because again. This is we're at a condo yeah. and like we don't get room service like a hotel, but also there's no washer and dryer in our building. So I'm like, what the fuck do I do? Right. I get up. We're both covered. She's looking at me like, because then at that moment, you're I'm also like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Yeah, Cause she's sick. And so she's looking at me like, what's happening? At one point, it sounded like she was choking on it, too. So I'm like, God, could her you up imagine and, like being able to uh, remember the first time that happened to you? It's like, what's happening with my body? The inside of my body's on the outside of my body, especially when you're you're woken up out of a dead sleep. Yes. To it. It was so sad. I felt horrible for her. So I'm like, Corey, Corey, I need your help. I need your help. I turn the light on. I go, the baby just fucking puked everywhere. And he goes, okay. And rolls over and goes back to sleep. And I'm like, ah, you're useless. You're He's useless. so useless. <laughs> but again. He's so I just, useless. <laughs> I just know that's how he is when he gets into a deep sleep. Yeah. It's very scary, honestly. Yeah. Um, But. I'm like, okay, I got, this is all me. This is yep. all me. I, I fucking book it into mom mode. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I got to take care of this shit. I yeah. get us in the shower. The shower pressure is horrible, by the way. But I just have to get us like cleaned off enough to where we can Rinsed. get in, a ba in the bath. You just take her out into the ocean. And <laughs> Come on, girl. <laughs> and then the I get. salt going to clear you right out. <laughs> I get in the bathtub and we're just like, she's having a great time at this time. But, but also it's scary the first time they puke because you're like. It's one of two things. Was this a freak something that's going to happen? Or am I about to get this for the whole night? Right. It's so scary. You yeah. don't know. So I'm sitting there like waiting for the next one to happen. Mm -hmm. And I'm terrified. And also there's so many goddamn people on this <laughs> vacation <laughs> that there's nowhere now for us to sleep except that bed. Right. Or the floor. Right. Which I'm not going to sleep on. Like there's people on the couches. There's people mm -hmm. in the other rooms. Like it's full of right. people. So I'm like, I'm just going to have to strip the bed. I put a towel over the one spot. I stripped the whole bed. Mm -hmm. Luckily, these people had like a, a mattress cover kind of situation oh, on thank it. God. So I pulled that off and the sheet underneath it was clean. And they had an extra throw blanket up in the closet. So I'm like, this is just going to have to be yeah. what we sleep on. And I guess you're not getting a pillow. <laughs> because <laughs> you shouldn't have had one anyways. <laughs> 
<laughs> so anyways, we end up going back to sleep. It was fine. I definitely think it was a stomach flu because then me and Corey got it also. Mm. So a lot of the vacation, there's so it's so funny because everybody's like, did you take pictures? And so I probably have a full collage of Sawyer, me, and Corey sleeping. <laughs> we all were taking turns, me and Corey, taking Noah out and taking him to do things because we felt horrible. We're like, sorry, we brought you to Florida and now we're all just deathly ill. What if the purple blue haired lady was like some kind of a witch and she put a she hex on you? <laughs> oh my God, that bitch. <laughs> She's like, you loud ass babies, you're gonna be you're gonna keep you up <laughs> you're all be night. You can <laughs> Yeah. And it wasn't I didn't puke, but it was coming out my other end heavily. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I can't go to the ocean. This bitch gets ass sick. Oh my god, I get ass sick. Oh my god. So I just had to sit near the pool mm. while my child played in it. Noah, not the other one. I wouldn't let my baby <laughs> just frolic in the pool. <laughs> Noah. Yeah. And I was like, babe, I gotta sit here by the door because I'm gonna have to run <laughs> at any moment. <laughs> it could hit. At any yeah. time. So I think I only actually went to the beach twice, which was sad. Yeah. But both times that I went, me and Noah um, had like really beautiful just mother-son moments in the ocean where we were just like jumping the waves and having good talks. Although at one point he was like, let's talk about like we were floating on our backs and mm-hmm. looking at the clouds and trying to say what they were. Mm-hmm. And he was like, I know what that cloud looks like. <laughs> I was like, what? And he goes, a banana with two orange. <laughs> Then he looked at me like this, and I was like, quit. I was going to say, are you going to tell me he doesn't know? Because I I think the boy knows. I go, and I laughed, and I said, what is wrong with you? And he goes, I go to public school. I hear things. Damn, he is too fucking witty for his own good. (laughs) Holy shit. I go, what is the matter with you? Like laughing, and he's like, guys, I go to public school. What do you want from me? That is so funny. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You're a a preteen. (laughs) I guess I'm going to have to hear these things. Yeah. And I was telling other people because they're like, I can't believe he says that stuff to you. And I go, I think he just is so comfortable with me because I've tried mm-hmm. to establish that, like, mm-hmm. you can talk to me about anything. But now I'm like, ah, la, la, la. <laughs> just because you can doesn't mean I want you doesn't to. Mean you should. <laughs> no. So, yeah. And the trip was kind of interesting. And in the other, uh, we weren't the ones, the only ones that got hit, not just with the stomach bug. There was someone that got a little bit, one of my nieces to be. Got a full on rash. Oh no. Out of nowhere, all over the body. And we were like, what's happening? We still don't know what it's from. And then someone else had an alert. Was it like a heat rash? No, it didn't look like it. Mm. It looked like, um, like in, like hives. Almost. Okay. But well, like, that's what like my kid's heat rash looks mm, like. I don't know. It could have been. Yeah. Um, but it was all over. Yeah. Arms, legs, cheeks. Yep. Like, yeah. And then someone else had it either a really bad, reaction to a sunburn or an allergic reaction happen on and Dang. it was just like they had to go to the emergency <gasps> i know i was like what is happening on this trip to all of us God damn so yeah it was not a terrible vacation family vacation was, from hell i was very excited about it but at the same time it was different <laughs> the way that we all kept getting the fuck beat out <laughs> yeah so yeah and also um i will say florida Oh, here's another thing that happened. Speaking of Florida, because I hate Florida. I know. I'm not going to lie. Because immediately when I got down there, I was worried because, you know, reproductive laws and the such. And I fucking started bleeding down there. I haven't had a period in four months. Okay. I just start bleeding out of nowhere. And I'm like, what is happening? Yeah. Like a lot. Uh, and again, I'm, I have an IUD. So like. The first thought in my head was I'm having an ectopic pregnancy or something like that. Yeah. And am I going to get charged with something? Will they be able to save me? I yeah. was panicking. Right. Because I was also having horrible cramps that could have been for my ass sickness. But <laughs> <laughs> or a cyst bursting because yeah. your IUDs make you have cysts sometimes. Yep. So I'm just like freaking out about that. I also don't wear tampons anymore. So I'm like, yeah. how? what am I going to do? I'm bleeding all over the place. <laughs> I um I went to Walgreens. Shout out to Walgreens. They had flex discs. They not did? sponsored, but they fucking did. They came in Hell clutch. Hell yeah! I was so excited. I was like, thank God. I, I think you, you can get flex discs on Amazon too. Yeah. Well, that's I was gonna Amazon, but I'm like, I I need it now. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't yeah. know what to do. I'm at the. It's my period, and I need it now. But <laughs> the beach here, and I feel so embarrassed because I'm like, I can't get in the water. I'm bleeding. <laughs> to go be a shark. 
<laughs> so scared. Um, oh, also, I do want to say that three buildings down, I did eventually find a laundromat situation. Mm. And so I did clean the sheets up in case anyone was wondering. Yeah. I didn't leave that. Um, uh, so, yeah. Anyways, it was just it was. I'd also was... like to say the only reason I, I hate Florida other than their um, politics is the air is thick enough to chew. Dude, I swear to fucking God, I've never had an experience like like that when I was there on a vacation. Mm-hmm. I've only ever been there twice, yeah. two other times. But this time, it was so... I felt claustrophobic being outside yes. because I was like, I feel like I can't breathe. Mm-hmm. The humidity was so intense, more intense than it's ever been when mm-hmm. I've been there. Um, And every day was 87 or higher. Right. Woof. <laughs> like, I can't. I was wearing 50 baby sunscreen all over and I still got burnt on my shoulders. They finally went down a little yeah. bit, but they were like red the first day. And I was outside maybe two hours. Like, <laughs> that's it. It was that's wild. It. I got ride oh, yesterday I, yeah i know you showed me you crazy yeah. person what happened to you i did it on purpose stop doing that i know <laughs> my belly has not seen the sun in years and i was like let's see what happens <laughs> did you put any sunscreen on no what is i put sunscreen on my kids and i figured some of it would blow onto me <laughs> <laughs> the residual sunscreen I did put some on my hand and I rubbed it on my tattoos. Yeah, that's which important. I was like, that's going to be weird if I just have like <laughs> circles White around spot. where my tattoos are. But here's a fun fact about me that maybe I've talked about. Maybe I haven't. Um, I have. N- I do not get tan mm-hmm. from my elbows down on the back of my arm. Yeah. And same thing with my knees. Like my knees right here don't <laughs> get really color. Don't. And then my shins like are a little bit less. But yeah, my elbows and my my knees. Stay white. Stay. They stay white. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's so weird. Wild. Yeah. What the heck? Yeah. Well, um, I feel like there was other things I was going to tell you, but I can't remember. Do you want me to share what I did when you were going? Please. Well, I know some of it, but yeah, tell me the rest. You guys want to know something? Yeah. First of all, Forrest, when we play I Spy, he goes, I Spy. I buy with my little eye something blue. And it doesn't matter what color he says or whatever you say. He goes, you got it oh. every single time. And it is the cutest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. Him going something. I love that. Mm. Something. Okay. Anyway. So. At this point, I've probably already announced it on Instagram. But Have you? Well, when this comes out, I will. I plan on putting something up today for my birthday (gasps) to tell people. But so if you guys don't know, my birthday is also my anniversary. Yes. And uh, uh, every once in a while, it's also Father's Day. (laughs) Yeah. So it's a lot. um, Today happens to be all three. All three. Trifecta. Yep. And Shane and I have been wanting to buy land and build a home for a very very long time we've talked about we've talked about we it have here, like I mean. we've said that we wanted to like build a little compound for yep. the, the <laughs> lnt team <laughs> and when sear i don't know where you guys were but i i took shane were you at the beach what when i took shane to your house no we were packing yes so we were home packing so i took Shane over to Sierra's new house. We broke in. I showed him around. He was mm-hmm. like, "This is so dope." Blah blah blah. <laughs> Someday she we'll... knows my code. <laughs> well, once she was gone, I redid her living room. <laughs> she did, and it's phenomenal. Yeah, I was like, "Hey, do you care if while you're on your your trip, I go in and I paint this one wall and I kind of like move a rug and and do some stuff?" And she's yeah, like, "I don't it's care." Amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. So. After we were standing there, Shane's like, we'll have this someday. And I said, I know we will. Like, I'm I'm not in a rush. And we have made our little Cracker Jack box of a house feel enough like us that I, I was content. Yeah. I, I didn't want to settle for anything. Um, but when we were leaving, I said, there is a piece of land that's kind of near here that I, I haven't looked at and I'm kind of interested in. Mm-hmm. And he said, sure, what the hell? Let's go look at it. We didn't even like. How did you find it on a website? Yes. Okay. Yes, I had seen it on a website, and I was like, "There's no way that by the time we are ready to make the move on something, that this is still going to be there." Right? Because it had been on for a while. A hundred days. Yeah. Okay. 
And I'm looking at this land and it's tw- almost 12 acres of land. Mm-hmm. And it had already started to be prepared for a build, but mm-hmm. the people stopped the build. Yeah. Um, there COVID are things happen. Yeah. There are things when you build a house that like you have to have the soil tested, you yep. have to figure out like all of the utilities and what's going to happen with that. Where and plumbing if it's, and water yeah, and if, all that. If the site construction part of it, what is it called? Site development is costly. Like it could eat a lot of your budget. Yep. So we were like, fuck it. What's the worst that happens? We hate it. Okay. Whatever. We just go back home. So we, drive up and it's a hill Mm -hmm. and it feels like we're in the middle of nowhere it Mm -hmm. feels like when we're in washington or we're in oregon we get to the top of this hill and i look at him and i was like oh my god this is it this is (laughs) this is our land like i know this is our land and so we climb to the top (laughs) we look (laughs) this land is your land this land is my land i think i said that (laughs) i think i said that to shane um but there's like rolling hills and there's like a little uh, a little walking path. The sunset is perfectly framed mm-hmm. by, by these trees, by the trees. Yeah. And I am just like in love. Yeah. And so we start the process and uh, we didn't even have a realtor at this point in time. We had n- we weren't planning on doing anything. We didn't even know if it was feasible. We yeah. went to see the land and we're like, well. Hail Mary, let's see what we can do. Let's yeah. fucking try it. And uh let's just fuck around and see what happens. That's what yes. we did when we bought our house. I was like, let's just fuck around and that's, put an offer in. Let's see what happens. Let that's everything I do now. Yeah. <laughs> is let's just fuck around and see what happens. The like most, that's the worst that could happen. We don't get it. Okay, we're in the same situation we're in now. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I uh inquired on the land on realtor.com. So mm-hmm. of course a thousand people oh yeah uh respond to me saying when can I show you this land? Yep, that's what happened to us with our first house. And I decide I'm just gonna go with this this person because it was like the only woman who had reached out mm-hmm. and, and I have a soft spot for lady realtors. Oh totally <laughs> after grandma. And so I'm speaking with her and she is very like she doesn't take no for an answer and she is like very serious a go-getter let's fucking do this thing and i said can i ask you where you're um based out of and she said oh where you're from i'm i'm in the same town and i said oh you've been doing this for 34 years did you know my grandma and i said who our grandma was and Mm -hmm. she was like oh my god yes your grandma was so wonderful. And I said, you just remind me a lot of her, yep. like not only in how you're treating me and how you're doing your job, but your voice sounds like her. And oh. I haven't heard her voice in 15 years. Yeah. And like it just 16 now. Um, it just is so overwhelming for me. Like yeah. it, it almost just made me feel like this is even more possible. Yep. And at that point we hadn't really talked to um the the bank and stuff to make sure that that was like a doable thing right and so she told me what i needed to have put in place and uh long story short we got the land <laughs> we got the land <laughs> Exciting. And it is. She uh, took me on a date up there last night. I did. It was, it was really romantic. I said, Do you want to go to the top of my hill and manifest at sunset for the new moon? <laughs> it was awesome. Um, I like it is so, it is like you're in the middle of nowhere, mm-hmm. but you are in, t- not in town, but like just outside uh, of it. Like, yeah. Literally not far enough to like where it's annoying if you have to go in and get stuff. Right. But you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere. Yes. And it's, yeah, just really, really. There awesome. were deer when we got so, there. I said, I asked her um, for you as well if she would become <laughs> like a TikTok lady that feeds deer off of her back porch. Oh my god! <laughs> I wanted to tell you this because I told Shane about that, and he goes, "Yeah, and I'm. Uh, I think I want to befriend a crow. What? Because they remember." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "That's easily one of my favorite sentences you've ever said." <laughs> they do actually. There was a crow that sat outside of the condo in Florida, and I said hello to it every day. And I swear to God, it would wait for me. Then I'm like, "Do you know that?" <laughs> About to come out here and go hi how you doing yeah. like i talk to it every day well shane wants to befriend a crow so if you he befriends a crow should. you can yeah, come, come and come befriend him as well with him. <laughs> but yeah it was wild like we have we're meeting with the builders tomorrow to go over like designs and stuff <gasps> so and exciting um, yeah this is everything and it's close that we've to wanted. my new house 
surprise, we're still like kind of neighbors. <laughs> Not really, and, but we're in the same neighborhood for sure. Yeah. And um, I, f- I was woken up by what I can only uh, say is the universe. Yeah. Okay. I'm convinced that that's what woke me up. And, and I was told you need to get your journal and you need to write this down. And so um, I believe it was Monday we put the offer in. Saturday, nothing had happened yet. I was waiting to hear back from the builders about site development. And Saturday was the day that the universe woke me up Mm -hmm. and said, you need to write about it. And so I'm writing about it. I go back to my, one of my last entries and I see that I had written, I can't wait to find this in two years on our, in our newly built home on our property Ah! and talk about all of the dreams we've made come true. Mm -hmm. That was in 2022. Our home will be done in 2024. That's so So exciting. It was just like insanity to me that yeah. that all of this has happened in the way that it did and it was so unexpected yeah and speaking that's of how- sirens right now that's happening sierra and i th- think we heard a crime oh my god <laughs> it was so scary kind of actually it was it was By very way, confusing there was, uh, there was gunshots that happened yeah. that was scary i'm not we gonna do lie. Live, it, it is out there it's 12 so acres and pr- we're in the middle of nowhere and we're in ohio so you probably yeah. heard, there's gonna be hunting there is gonna be hunting yeah make but, sure your dogs don't get loose well yeah because that's scary yeah um but it, it sounded like hunting stuff and then all of a sudden we heard shots fired shots fired whoop, whoop, with like a siren and we yes. were like hello <laughs> What are we hearing? And then we heard more gunshots. And then we heard. <laughs> That's exactly what it sounded like. And we were like, what the What's fuck? Happening? What the fuck is going on? And then there was a fucking firework. <laughs> <laughs> One singular firework. And I was and like, we this like, is Hello? crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. If this isn't content, I don't know what is. <laughs> I was like, this is why I'm furious that we don't have a reality TV show yet. Because this would have been a scene mm-hmm. where everyone's like, what is going on? Because mm-hmm. what the fuck was going on? And also, last year, I told you guys how last year my birthday was an absolute fucking shit That's show. Great. And <laughs> I was having a really hard time. And I remember I wrote something and I said that the light at the end of the tunnel was fireflies. Oh. And last night when we were sitting on that hill, oh. surrounded by the tree line, it was lit up with fireflies literally uh, as soon as the sun finally set i go oh, look at the fireflies and mm-hmm. they were just like boop, 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 all throughout the trees uh. like literally like christmas lights on them i was like oh my god yeah yeah it was really beautiful so hopefully i want to document it and bring you guys along for the process um i'm really excited about the builder that we're working with because shane and i really love character um and like the an old feeling home but old homes often come with uh, out of date electrical and plumbing uh, <laughs> and yes. like some like sketchy foundational problems my and old, so my old house yeah there so, was like one outlet in every room and i'm like what do you think and it's a two pronger but i need a three pronger yeah what the hell yeah so the builder that we're working with uh like it literally has old in their old world in their name so yeah so they um they are they specialize in character building new New build character houses. <laughs> you know, you yes. know the such. You so. know. Yeah, it's going to be incredible. I can't yeah. wait. I'm so excited for you. Mm-hmm. That place is amazing up there. I know. We got a little... Cor- I came home and Corey was like, are you drunk right now? And I was like, I'm not not drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally drank three beers. <laughs> two and a half. I didn't even drink the third one. No, oh, you didn't finish it. I drank it. two and a half and I was like, that's enough for me. Yeah. And I didn't mean to. I told Shane are. today, I was like, I'm so sorry. I peed all over our land. Oh, we when pissed I was- all over it. We marked our territory. <laughs> <laughs> I had to pee so bad and we don't have the bathrooms finished yet. Yeah. Up there. <laughs> not, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> not even started, honestly. <laughs> so we just kept finding in the wildflowers. <laughs> Random wildflowers to pee on. Yeah. It was fun. Mm-hmm. Although there was a moment because I had to pee after dark, mm-hmm. and there was a moment where it was just like Peeing a weed after dark. <laughs> in and there. there was just a weed tickling bum hole. <laughs> I was like, "What's happening here?" Oh, I like that's it, our happy of. ending up on the hill. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of moments where you're just like, I this is like a movie moment yes. kind of a thing. Okay. Because that vacation was not 
ideal. Mm -hmm. Um, Just things kept going wrong. Yep. There was a moment. I do want to say the moments with Noah in the ocean were amazing. But there was a moment with my entire family at the at the very end of the trip, yeah. literally the day before we had to leave. That was so like, oh, these are like the moments that I live for in life. Mm -hmm. And we were all swimming together in the swimming pool. The pool is like a saltwater pool. Yep. And also it's like constantly at 90 degrees. It was never cold. Which right. like, I wish it would have been a little bit cooler maybe. But it was nice because Noah hates cold pools. Sorry, we had to take a short break. It turns out Jared P and I'm still ass sick. <laughs> Violently. If you stay ass sick, you ain't got to get ass sick. That's the truth. Um, okay, so anyways, back to the pool. It's warm. My baby then loves it. Noah loves it. Yes. So we're all in the pool. At the same time, it's like the only time this has happened. Um, and also, Corey's mom and his nieces are in there, and then mm -hmm. his best friend, who's going to be his best man at his wedding, one mm -hmm. of the best men. Um, so like, we're all having a great time. And also, at this point, for some reason, it was kind of cloudy overcast that day, and there was potential storms coming in. So, like, no one's in the pool. So, it's just us in there. We're having a great time. I'm wearing these goggles. I'm going underneath. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, feel it. Me and Corey are being cute with each other. We're like, mm -hmm. me, me, me. I keep going underneath and touching his butthole. <laughs> <laughs> and then he went underneath one time and I turned and flashed him in the water. It was just very cute. Yeah. But then uh Sawyer, we would put her up on the ledge mm -hmm. and just let her like jump into our arms. She was having the best time. Mm -hmm. That baby is a water bug. Both of my kids. Mm -hmm. They loved it. They were having like the best the best time. And then everybody, uh, thunder started rumbling, but we didn't yeah. see any lightning, and all of a sudden we start getting pelted with rain. And if there is anything that I love more than like anything in the world it's being in a pool when it's raining mm -hmm. i don't know why i love it i think it's so fun because normally it's when like it's two different kinds of wet yeah well and normally when it starts pouring you all run inside i like to be in rain but like i also hate being wet unless i'm already wet mm -hmm. <laughs> so it was just like my hair everything was already wet, wet you, you ain't gotta, gotta get, get wet, wet. <laughs> that's, that's my motto <laughs> So everything, my hair and everything was already, I didn't care. There was just a moment, of, like nobody cared. All the kids were squealing and having a good time. Mm. They're all playing. I'm going under these fucking goggles. <laughs> <laughs> and the, there's like a thunder rumble in the background. Also, mm -hmm. my uh, thing that I listen to when I'm reading or anytime I want to just relax is thunderstorm. is thunderstorm at the ocean. It's my favorite like play. It's yeah. so good. It's like you get the rumble and the uh -huh. rain, but also the waves. It's so relaxing. So, like, as that was happening, I leaned back and, like, I'm getting pelted with water. Are the goggles just, still on your face? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I did take them off at this point. Okay. When I let the rain hit my face. And then I look up and I just see my family there. Noah had Sawyer on his chest. And Aww. Noah he was holding on to him, too, with the little. Wait, and Corey I, had Sawyer? Yeah, what did I say? Noah. No. Corey. Corey. <laughs> Corey. Corey uh -huh. had Sawyer <laughs> and Noah was like on his back kind of like Aww. and he was holding both of them and I was just like this is my fucking this is the whole mm -hmm. reason I'm here this trip might have been a little bit of ass shit <laughs> in the beginning but this it was, was all the whole reason moment. we came yeah and it was yeah. a really beautiful moment that I'm glad that I got to share on here as well I didn't want you to all think it was fucking terrible but uh, <laughs> I want you to think it was terrible because I was telling you it was terrible no, but <laughs> there was a, there were there were terrible Terrible moments, I'll tell you that for sure. Um, it, it, but it was worth it for that moment. It was really beautiful. Yeah. And then lightning happened, and we were like, "Ah, get the fuck out of the pool!" Okay, now there is actually lightning. But. I did goggle stuff too okay. in my in my hot tub. All right. Uh -oh. Yeah, me and Ollie were oh, taking was... turns. No, me, not me and Shane. <laughs> I was no. like, "What's happening?" That's no. a really small pool to be like flashing. No, other. we were taking turns and going under the water, and Ollie was like deep diving for coins. It's and... weird. But like goggles in a swimming pool and like going under and yeah. swimming is such like a kid thing to yeah. do that like when you do it, it brings, I was doing handstands Listen. in the pool. Everybody was like, oh, Sierra, you can do a perfect handstand. Your toes are pointed. I was like, I've been doing this stuff. I was doing flips. <laughs> do back handsprings. Dude, it's so fun. I think. It like made me feel like a little kid again. I know that accessing a bike is not necessarily like feasible for everybody. Yeah. But something about being on a fucking bicycle mm -hmm. and putting on goggles in a pool mm -hmm. makes you... It brings your inner child out. It brings you to life. Yeah. And it just made me so happy. I was so not concerned with any of the adult bullshit in my life yeah. at that point. I, I was just a, a being a little kid in a pool. <laughs> I just imagined being a like therapist 
<laughs> and prescribing goggles, <laughs> goggles to someone. <laughs> hey, take these for a spin. Tell yeah. me how you feel. <laughs> and we, like, honestly, though, honestly, try it. If that's what we can leave you with, yeah, go get some goggles. Do something that's going to make your in inner the child smile. For real. Yeah. For real. That's my birthday present that I'm yeah. requesting from you. Yeah. I played mermaids. Oh, my God. I was acting oh, yeah. like a little mermaid. And I was like, it was so fun. It was so fun. Go get some goggles. Get a yeah. bike. Put the goggles on on the bike. Confuse everybody. <laughs> Drive your bike into the pool. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so fun. It would be so fun. Anyway, And also, I think it's fun to have those moments with your kids because I think yes. so much we're like the mo- We are. But mm-hmm. I know there are parents that are like, you know kids got to do this and like you you just are such the role of yeah. the adult that like when you can peel that back and show your kids your inner child as mm-hmm. well that's like such a beautiful moment i gave my dad um for father's day we went to dinner a couple days ago and i gave him this booklet and it says letters to my dad and <gasps> inside of it there was like i want to say like 12 different prompts yeah and i wrote a letter for each oh, prompt for that's him beautiful it was so it was really cool because Heartfelt. it's, yeah, it's not necessarily stuff that I always think about all the time, yeah. but I do want him to know that stuff. Yeah. And one of the memories um, that I shared with him in there was he used to be in charge of the park where yeah. there's a swimming pool. And so after hours, he would take us swimming Aww. in the dark and he would like disappear under the water <gasps> and swim and then pop up and scare us. Yes. And yeah. So it, those moments are like core memories and stuff. I will tell you, I can't, one of my favorite things to like look forward to in the future is like hearing what those are for my kids. Oh yeah. Because I, I am hoping that me and Noah made a few. This he can remind trip. you of. Yeah. Because you, you know, this bitch is going to forget. <laughs> But there was like a... Well, luckily just, we have this too now. Yeah, I know. I'm excited. That's why I wanted mm-hmm. to make sure I said that. I just boob scoop myself. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it and I didn't want to bring attention to it, but I did see it. Oh, well. But yeah, I wanted to tell you the good stuff as well because, yeah, there were there were moments. It was so fun in the ocean too, just like floating and jumping mm-hmm. over the waves. And I feel like I let myself be a kid there as well with Noah and just like... You ever just battle the fucking waves and then you get out and you're like, oh, fuck, <laughs> like tired. The older I get, just... the less I go in the ocean. Oh, I, me too. Like I said, I only went twice. But like mm-hmm. when I went, I was in going in there to be a little kid. You know yeah. what I mean? I wasn't just going in there to stroll. I was like, we are playing. I wasn't going in there just to pee. <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to play. Not this time. <laughs> I'm not peeing and playing. That's what I know. Yeah. Um. Anyway. But back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. <laughs> Um, and it turns out I have to freaking move now. Now yeah. I got to really fully be in my house. Well, so at least you'll have this week to uh, not have to come in. I know because I'm going. I'm leaving for vacation now. Yep. Shane and I are going to Seattle for our anniversary. Yeah. So we're going to actually record another one after this. That's going to come out on Sierra's birthday. Yeah. We ah! so we will be wearing these same clothes. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to record it right after this. Don't <laughs> judge me. Even though I told Corey, I was like. Because everything is like boxed away, I thought we would be in the new house. I have a very limited amount of clothing mm-hmm. that I can wear, basically what I took on vacation, and that's right. it. So I'm like, I feel like in the next week I'm going to be homely because I ain't got no homely. <laughs> he was like, get out. Go. Go away. I also feel like get out. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks for hanging out, everybody. <laughs> we, we love, love you so much. much. And we'll see you next week. All right. We're out. Goodbye. Goodbye.